How's it going, everyone? John here with Rails Tales at Trails. It is the new year, and to kick off the new year, we are going to cover some basics. And the basics that we are going to cover today are the basics of reading railroad switches. A lot of people have asked about them. They seem confused about them. And guess what? I get it. You're getting into the industry. It can be a little confusing. What's this? What's that? Which way am I going to go? Guys, take a deep breath. It's not that big of a deal. Once you know the basics and how they work, it is easy to go. I'm going to give you some tips to help keep you safe out there. Some tips to just simply make it quicker for you to visually understand where you're going to go and how you're going to get there and how to get there without screwing up something along the way. And today we are going to use our good old trusty train simulator pro thingy, whatever. You guys love it. It's all right, I guess, if you want to sit here and play pixel trains. But anyways, it's actually pretty good. It's pretty accurate for the most part. Um, and so we're going to cover that. So let's jump into it. But before we do, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up on this video. Hit that red button down below that says subscribe. Help grow the channel going into 2025. I appreciate it. And, well, fuck the YouTube algorithm. That thing's just a pain in the ass. Anyways, guys. Let's go. Okay, guys, so here we are. We are in our trusty train simulator. And before we start talking about how to know which way to go, things like that, we need to identify a few, a few points, all right? And that is our switch. Now, look, parts of these switches can look differently, your indicators, what kind of switch stand, et cetera, et cetera. At the end of the day, guys, that stuff doesn't matter. It's essentially all the same thing similar mechanics operation may be different don't get distracted or confused by that there's a couple of points here three main points um four that you really need to be aware of and once you understand that you have your foundation for understanding on how to read these switches and so let's cover a couple of those points real quick the first one is your switch points. Your switch points are these right here. Quite literally, the point of the switch. Okay. And then you have your frog, which allows you to go from one track, crossover from one track to another. That's it right there. Then you have your switch stand. That's pretty much it, guys. I mean, you're going to have your mechanisms and stuff back you know, down through here to actually move the points. Fact of the matter is you don't need to know about all that because, well, quite frankly, that's mechanical. Our job is to throw a lever, push a button, go from point A to point B without running through this bit right here. And by run through is happens whenever you are making, approaching a switch from the trailing point. Trailing point is the back end of the switch. This right here would be your facing point because you're facing the point of the switches, okay? And a run through happens when you are not lined correctly on your route. And essentially your train, as you can see, there's no gap right here. Your train will come down this way and literally bend that switch point out. That's called a run through. Now that we have that basic out of the way, remember three big points here, okay? Facing point right here, trailing, all right? And then we have our three main areas right here, switch point, frog, switch stand, okay? That's all we need to know right there about really the switches. Okay. Now with this, the way you change your route is using a switch stand. All right. Some of these are automated. You can control them by a control box, which is not pictured here, obviously. Then you have a lever like you have here. All right. Simple. Throw the lever from left to right. Sometimes 
a lot of the switches you'll see will actually be thrown you know directions like this guys it doesn't matter which direction is thrown what it looks like it essentially does the same thing okay and then some of them there'll be a little button let's say there's a button right here on that indicator you know on a little stand or something right here you push the button motor switches the points for you all right so with that said let's see if i can operate this game and show you kind of similar what it looks like to throw a switch there we go is it gonna move there we go that's essentially what it does this one goes left to right some of them go this way it doesn't matter guys don't get confused by it it's really a simple mechanism and when you throw that your switch point indicator right here which this is your indicator they all look different some may be red and green green and yellow whatever look don't rely on these to be accurate always 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 rely on visual inspection of the switch so with that said again that's literally the simplicity of a switch stand and changing switches now i'm going to line this for our route because we got our pair of motors over there and here's what i want to show you so we're looking at it and right here we have our motors Boop. okay good deal and obviously we're going to want to go from there to here all right now when you are looking right here at your switch points so i this would be the face of the switches right here facing point the rule of thumb when you're looking at it just like this let me get you a little bit better view is where the gap is at is where you're gonna go okay so if my train was going this way and I am looking at this switch wondering, okay, which way am I going to go? The gap is on the left right here. Sorry, I know my drawings are fantastic. So since my gap is here on the left at that facing point switch, I am going to go off to the left. All right. Simple. If my gap was over here, that means my wheels are going to follow this track and I will go to the right done okay when looking at the facing points gap on the left you go left gap on the right you go right done done you know where you're gonna go so if this switch point indicator right there that little banner uh, guys, I've seen these things spin around like a top before. I've seen them twisted, bent over, whatever. Don't rely on these to tell you exactly where these switches are. Look at them, okay? You're going to know where you're going in a heartbeat, irregardless of what this stupid thing right there says. So, look at your facing point switches, find your gap, your no gap, and you will know where you're going to go immediately. So, let's turn this around a little bit all right now i'm looking from here all right plain and simple there you go all right now when we're looking here you need to cut work your way back from where you're at to where you're going so from where you're at to the switch all right in this case we are on this track all right when you're looking at your switch you need to know where your primary track is this is our primary track we're going to go from here to here that means i need to have a gap right here now in this case my gap is over here on that side all right so what does that mean that means that if I follow this path, well, let's get rid of that one. If I follow this path right here, 
in that direction with my switch point right here being closed it means if i can you know continue this way i'm going to run through that switch and bend it out that's a no-no so and if i follow this track right here that means i could come out of this track going this way and i would be just fine but as it stands i am in this track right here going this way that switch point is lined against me that's all there is to it always work back from where you're at from where you're at to where you're going and follow your path between a and b and you will figure out real quick where you need to go because here are the two tracks that i am going to be using and when you just take a moment and slow down you're going to realize this is track a that i'm on track b well let's clear those out track a track b those are the two tracks that i'm using so as moving forward in that direction we know which one needs to be lined in what direction because there's a gap over here and if you look right here i mean if we continue this direction right here our wheel is just going to fall off in the middle of the tracks and we're going to run through that this switch right here so we just working our way from the back where we're at to forward we know that switch is lined against us guys it is really that simple the key to reading switches and navigating rail yards and industries is to slow the hell down walk out your switch routes and your traffic or traffic path of travel and you won't have any issues navigating your in industries that's all there is to it really is guys that simple all right so that's the basics of reading railroad switches guys i hope you guys are having a fantastic new year this is our basics video we are going to get um much more in depth with reading switches and operating yards and yard large yards things like that and how to navigate them in our membership section uh keep an eye out on that section if you want to go ahead and join the member section right now early that's great um haven't got any videos put in there just yet we are working on those thanks to technical difficulties anyways i hope you guys are being safe out there go home same way you got there upright and breathing here we go